This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at ksgrainsorghum.org. Each year, Wakini is magically transformed into a holiday wonderland. The county seat of Trago County has been known as the Christmas City of the High Plains since 1950. The idea began with a couple of businessmen, and the town has turned on the lights ever since. The one-of-a-kind display features nearly 7,000 twinkling lights, more than twice as many lights as there are people in Trago County, 1,400 pounds of fresh greenery, 1,100 yards of fresh greenery roping, and approximately three miles of electrical wiring. The Christmas tree lighting is always held on the Saturday following Thanksgiving. The holiday begins at the Courthouse Square, the center of the town's activities any time of year, but particularly special during the Christmas season. The focal point is the magnificent 35-foot tree of fresh greenery in the middle of the intersection at the southwest corner of the square. The tree rests under a canopy of heavenly blue lights. Plus, a four-square block area around the tree is draped with fresh greenery, handcrafted wreaths, bows and bells, and of course, more lights. This annual tradition is considered the largest Christmas tree and lighting display between Kansas City and Denver. And where did the unusual name of Wakini originate? It is the combination of two names, Keeney and Warren. James Keeney, a land speculator in Chicago, purchased land at the site of modern-day Wakini from the Kansas Pacific Railroad in 1877. He and business partner Albert Warren formed Warren, Keeney and Company, surveyed and plotted the site in 1878 and established a colony there in 1879. The town grew quickly, but crop failures drove settlers to leave in 1880 almost as fast as they had come. The Volga Germans revitalized the area upon their arrival to the High Plains. Merry Christmas from Historic Lecompton where Lane University has decorated more than 100 trees with antique and vintage ornaments, transforming the museum with the magic of the season, open daily through New Year's Day. <laughs>